Hi guys, welcome back to some more action with Accrington. We're hopefully going to get the season finished in this episode. We have uh, two and a bit months to go. We're in March. Obviously we've got the uh, beginning of uh, May to get to. I'm going to get straight into the action now with a game away at Wolves. They've uh, not lost in their last three games. They have conceded in uh, two of those. And in this one, it's a 2-1 win for Wolves. They do concede a, a goal from uh, Tamo Harder. But uh, Valencia gives them the win in the 89th minute. So what does that do in terms of playoff places? We are still in 6th place. But unfortunately we are now 5 points. Um, uh, we're 5 points behind the guys in 4th and 5th. So we need to get a win back on to get back onto track. Uh, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm getting a voter conference from the board as well. Vice Mayor wants to discuss his wage. Alex Winter has completed his suspension. So first things first, let's have a look at um, Weissmeyer, see what he wants in terms of wage. Uh, he's on £500 a week. He wants 1500 and a two-year extension. You know what? Why not? He's going to be an important first-team player. That will get us up. Nicely done, and into this next game at home to Charlton. Um, let's have a look. Can we make any changes to the team? Uh, Keane is in form, so we'll have him in. Any midfielders in form? Not really. Tamo Harder hard. We'll have Murphy in. My central defenders are out of form, so there you go. Derek back in, and Winter. Just to try and get rid of plays that are out of form, a bit low on confidence, and take it from there. We have this home game against Charlton. Where are Charlton in the league? And where were Wolves? Well, Wolves were down in 14th. That was a game we should have at least got a point from. Charlton, uh, 23rd. Conceded 60, only scored 30. So we should be able to get back on track with uh, with this. You see there, Charlton have scored, but have also conceded in every game. A win here would do us nice, and a draw or a defeat for one of the teams above us would help as well. We get the 3 1 win. Keane was on form, brought back in, and he gets two goals. Murphy with a goal. Vizcarondo was booked as well. So we're now, it looks like, yeah, wins for Southampton and Leicester still, and Bolton. So we're five points behind still. And, well, we have. Um, Teams up our bum as well. I thought I saw there. Was it Leeds and Fulham? Bournemouth are six points behind, so we need to work. We need. We do need to. Vice Mayor wants a greater squad role than important first team player. To me, your overall is seventy one. So let's go for. Let's give you a crucial first team player. Um. So yeah, we've got teams breathing down our neck. Bournemouth may be okay, but we'll have to see what happens with them. Um, right, Williams, Murphy for Harder, Viscarondo for Ross, Alutza for Scudone, Dow for Caballos, Gamin for. Hmm. Seems Seager can play there. Can you play there, Seager? Centre-back you can play. Well, left-back isn't too bad. Or is it? Uh, but what I'm going to do... Derek can play right-back, so Derek can go to right-back. Seager out, Friedrich in. Winter can go across there. And Weissmeyer can come in. Two central, two centre backs are slightly out of form, but we've got fitter players on the park. I do need to look at bringing in a left back as cover. We had Armstrong out on loan, haven't we? So maybe just don't let him go out on loan next season. But I suppose we've got Winter that can play there. We've got Derek that can play there. We've got Dale that can play there. But they're just, uh, yeah, he's just a bit of a ball like in terms of. Rotating them all. 
but a 2-1 defeat, so we've had two losses and a win. And we've dropped out of the playoffs, which I was actually hoping... Uh, I'm going to motivate my team in this press conference just to see if we can get something done. Uh, actually, I did want to have a look in the office. Objectives. Finish mid-table. So we are on target for that. And, yeah, I would have liked to have hit the playoffs, but potentially not gone up this season. I just don't want to go down any further. We... We can't afford to uh, to drop down, but at the end of the day, realistically, there's nothing much more we can do. We've just got to go with what's there, and um, what am I thinking? What am I actually? Dale. Um, I was thinking something to say to you guys, but I cannot for life remember what. It, yeah, it was fairly important as well. Um, that was it. We're on about going up this season, and I don't think us going up this season because we're only we haven't got any guys in the 80s. And I think if you're in the Premier League, you're going to need that experience, that quality. You're going to need some guys in the 80s. I know we've got a couple of players coming in on um, pre-contracts. Baker, the centre mid, who's going to be good. We're going to be stacked in centre mid with um, Viscarondo, Alutza. Um, Pasilic, 2-1 win, look at that, Birmingham down to 9, Seager and Harder with the goals. Yeah, we're going to be stacked in centre mid, um, Pulisic, Baker, Viscarondo, Alutza, we've got a load of players that can play there. Um, left mid we've got Murphy who we can hope can improve, Harder may not improve that much more. Um, Cabalos needs to go right, we've got Drury, we've got Dow, we can also play centre, we've got Ross. Um, maybe we just need to look at the, the, the uh, defensive situation and see what we can do there. I thought I saw there a change of heart as Braveo says he's going to stay. Weissmeyer has accepted the contract. Braveo wants to stay. You'll stay unless we get a significant money for you. Josh Murphy out for eight weeks and we have a scout report. Uh, five foot, wow, holy crap, this guy's a little midget. I'll scout them all further, but they're pretty crap. Um, let's sort the team out ahead of this game. Gail, down for Derek Murphy off the bench. Two centre backs on the bench, one striker, and even another midfielder on the bench. Down, there we go. So yeah, with um, I don't think going up next season is going to be, or going up this season is going to be worthwhile. We need to hopefully maintain this top eight position, we'll say, and um, learn build for next season, go up look to go up next season when hopefully we've potentially sold Braveo and Lowe for say a combined forty million and that's been reinvested in eighty rated players. But we'll have to see. Braveo though, back in the team's put one 0 up early doors. And we've beat Leicester 2 0. And that closes the gap. I'm sure Leicester were as they were. We are now one point behind Southampton, three points behind Leicester. Leeds are on the same number of points as us. And, wow, can we keep it, keep it going and keep in the playoffs? It would be nice experience just to be in the playoffs. If we lose in the playoff final, if we lose in the, the two-legged semi, then fair enough. Youth player wants out. Jerome Husing wants out. We may have to sign him up. Let's see how good this guy actually is. Jerome, you're 17. Between, oh yeah, he does sign you up. Offer contract. You're going to be a future first team footballer. 
Let's see. Hopefully, he says yes. Well, it's a bit of cover made. I can't loan him out, obviously, because we've gone past the deadline and everything. Right, let's stick with this team that won. Playing at Bristol City. Doing well. Have scored, but have also conceded in every game. Looks like they're going very defensive with a 5 3 2. Can we break them down? Big question is yes. Three times. Sieger, Viscarondo, and Friedrich with the goals. Which is always good news. Nice long week's break now till Brighton. Um, Jerome Husing has uh, accepted. Let me, right, let's have a look at. Sorry, let's do this this one first. 92 max for Anton Saric. He's going to be a decent left mid. Um, Jakob Larsson could be a, a good backup. Another keeper here between 59 and 65. Jury De Witt. He's potentially our keeper for for next season if we are in uh, uh, in the championship again. Jonathan Bijimain. Um You may be back up, but your overall is pretty poor at the moment. Martin Van Beek. Could be quite good if we knew where you're going to play. Another keeper, Mikhail Callon, between 82 and 94. We're going to be stacked for keepers. Keepers. Stacked for keepers, and we've got Peter Keepers. Looks like he's going to be, uh, with that strength markings, he's going to be a central defensive mid or a... It could be it could be a full back with those stats. Robin Olmero, this is our potential between eighty eight and ninety five. This is our keeper. So we've got three keepers for next season. Well wow. Remy Diomp looks like a good central midfielder. Terrell Rimerick, need to figure out where you're gonna play. Five foot two, I hope you're not gonna be at the back. And uh, Vessel de Witt, mm, we may let you go. Viltcan, what have you got? 73 max, 80 max, 74, 74, 72, 68, 74, 74, and 81. Not good enough. Gashi. 76, 74, 92. Sign him up. 88. Sign him up. 84, no. 75, 85. Another keeper. I don't really need keepers. I think we've got enough. We'll do for now. Move forward, Brighton coming up. And yeah, nearly 15 minutes. We should be able to get uh, get everything done in this episode. We'll stick with the team. Uh, wow, well, they've beat Southampton who were up there. So they did, they're the team that did us a favour when we beat Leicester. And obviously that was a game that Southampton lost. They do Southampton a favour now though. March with the goal. A 1-0 win. And Southampton, it looks like didn't capitalise as they're um they still are only two points. Um two points ahead. Leicester are up to four points ahead. So you'd say with um six games to go, I think it is. That it's between Leicester, Southampton, Accrington and Leeds for the final three of those four will get the final playoff places. Player conversation. Dale wants to discuss his wage. Uh, I'm going to motivate my team again. Tough game coming up against Bolton. They're in third, I believe. I thought I saw they're in third. Dale wants to discuss his contract. He's probably because uh, he knows Weissmeyer has got a new one. 1500 yeah that'll do now Dale is one guy we need to try and give as much game time to as possible as obviously he was the uh, the scout of future star Keen in Caballos in Ross in Hoosing's a 52 that's a shame I was hoping you were going to be a bit more than that let's have Dale there Scuadoni. Gail. Weissmeyer. Dale. We'll keep. 
Uh, we'll keep with Gammon there for the time being. Some fresh legs on the bench. Anyone will do. Any fresh legs. Who's in? Let's get you on the bench. For Drury. Looks like our backup keeper's gone up 1 to 61, but we're not going to do a squad report until the end of the season. I just want to get through the season rather than stringing everything out and having this over two episodes. We'll get everything done. And Bolton unbeaten in their last three. And it's a one all draw. Gale injured Seeger and Seeger came off the bench. One of them scored. I don't know which one. Right, we have dropped out of the playoff places, but we're only three points behind Leicester, who are in fourth. Uh, press conference. Yeah, Drury, you're worried about your playing time, but I've got to rest you. Wow, important game coming up against um, Southampton. So I'm glad we sort of rested players against Bolton. Um... We need, we need a draw in this game. Uh, so Dale wants a greater squad role. We sort of, I sort of knew in my head that was going to happen because it happened with Weissmeyer, which I'm okay about. If he doesn't get it, he doesn't get it. Northern Ireland international management job, just reject. Don't have time for all that. Right, Southampton away. Williams can play, Brio can play, Harder back in, Vizcarondo back in, Alutza back in, Winter there, Derek there, Dale there, Ross on the bench, Drury on the bench, for Fusik. That will do. And you know, we just need to, to not lose. And we're away, so if we lose, Southampton are going to go more points clear. Very bad English there, but I do apologise for that. Right, Southampton away from home. Who do they have in their team now? Uh, Pele is still there. Jay Rodriguez is still there. Schneidling still there. Wanyama is still there. Tadic Yoshida are all still there. 1-0 win, Schneidlin with the goal. And now, yep, four points behind Leeds United who are in the final playoff place. So maybe this just isn't going to be our year. But with the youth players that we have and that we're playing, we should have a fair number of players that are rated 75 or above for next season. And as I put in the comments before, I think maybe... It now is that it's been suggested that Lowe's not improving, so it might be the time to sell Lowe. I'll um, quick look through this list now, but yeah, it might be the time to sell Lowe if we can get triple digits for him. Um, and then we're talking 15 million. Um, if we can get that. For Dale, then not for, not for Dale. Sorry for uh, for Low. It gives us money to to put into buying, say, an eighty-rated keeper, which um which would help us out at the back. Maybe another another central defender. Who knows what we can or where we can strengthen the team with that amount of money, but. We'll have to see, to be honest, at the end of the day. Um, we may get no offers. We may get loads of offers. To grin and bear it, see what happens. And, um, yeah, take a Breveo, we may end up becoming a huge bid for him, so we may have to go and buy a, another striker. But Sheffield Wednesday have been out of form. We need to bounce back and hope all the results go our way. I think if we go up this year, we're going to go straight back down next. We just haven't got the squad. One-all draw. Damn it. 
What does that do in terms of we drop down? Hmm, eight points behind Leicester, six behind Leeds, still four behind Southampton with a couple of games to go. Wigan coming up. Uh, did a little bit of thinking. All plays that are, are knackered. I do miss that chain, that that feature. Dale back in. That will do. Yeah, I, I do miss that. Just uh, the uh, assistant manager to to change all. But wow, look at that Wigan. On their last three, they've conceded only one goal. We are at home though, so it would be nice to get something from the game. Two all draw. Williams and Keane with the two goals. Inaki Williams isn't progressing as much as I'd like up front, so I may have to sell him, and bring in someone else. I shall just have to see, but Riveo and Seager both back in. Harder back in, Viscarondo, Alutza. Is Drury back? Yes, he is. Where are you, Gale? Are you fit yet? No, you're out for a while. So Winter can stay there. Friedrich and Weissmeyer at the back. So yeah, um, I could call back um, Elliot Armstrong from his loan, but I don't think he's going to be good enough. We're now one point behind Southampton and six points behind Leeds. So, how many games are left in the season? Uh, one, two, three. Derby, Huddersfield at home. This game against Preston. Who is where in the table? Preston are... 21st, Huddersfield are 14th, Derby are 19th. The schedule has been kind to us, but I can potentially see us losing one of those games. Just because I think, I don't know, I just feel that's how the season's going to go. Keane back in, Seager I'm going to keep there. Ross back in, Dow back in, Cabalos, let's have Dale there, sorry Derek there not Dale, and let's hope we can get a win at home against Preston, put the pressure on Southampton and hope they slip up and we get a 2-1 win. I cannot see, nope, no result on there for Southampton. Keane with both goals though. Proved to be a, a good signing. Riveo came on for Seager at the half, uh, half time interval, which is, I'm, I'm glad about that. That's the sort of potential that you should be doing when you've got two players that are a bit knackered. Um, right. A youth report, 92, set between 70 and 92 for Anton Salic. He's going straight in the first team when he comes up. Um, Larson is an able backup, so he can get rid of Kabalos, use that money to strengthen the team. We've got Tamo Harder there as well. De Vitt between 72 and 76, so he could go straight, he, he could walk straight into the team. Or there's Robin Armero as well. Um, Centre-back for Bleem. Or busy mind, sorry. And Beak, we don't know where you're going to be. Callon, for another cracking keeper. Uh, Marco Kakuta, decent defensive minded centre mid. Where's my other keeper? Here he is, between 70 and 74, between 18 and 94. I don't want to sign these two guys up now because of their physicals. 
uh, I've seen there there may be issues with physical stats not improving. These two guys are 17, so they're not really going to get that much of a bump. So I am going to sign these two guys up. Future first team footballer. And future first team footballer. Van Beek we could do, we don't know where he's going to play yet. Moritz we don't know where he's going to play yet. Keepers we know. 17 years old, defensive minded, he's going to be a CDM. We'll keep our, we'll, we'll just wait with him and see what happens. I forgot to have a look at these two scout reports as well. Gashi, 77 no, 71 no, 71 no, 75, 89. But his overall is pretty low. Uh, Borgman, no. No one really. I'll be scouted further. Wilkhelm. 70 no, 78, 69, 77, 68, 68, 65, 68, 84. Nothing really, so I'm just going to let them go. Alright, let's move forward. Final, final away game of the season. I knew what I was going to say. And we are back up in the playoff places. We have two points. Um, above Southampton. What can we do with this team? Williams back in, Harder back in, Alutza, Winter, Dale. Let's move Dale round, have him on the left. Yes. And then hopefully, is this game a week, a midweek? Oh, it's a weekend, fantastic. So we do have a week's break till the last game. Derby conceded two goals in each of their last three games. And they conceded three in this one. Dow, Alutza and Breveo with the goals. Breveo back with goals. Which is good news. Breveo scores at last. Almero has accepted his contract. Joey De Witt has accepted his contract. New Zealand international management reject. Um, Drury wants to get a transfer request, that's fine. Home game against Huddersfield. We are up to fifth in the table. No, we're not, sorry. I keep on thinking we're Leeds, but we're Accrington. So we're two points ahead of Southampton. Goal difference. Ours is plus 21, theirs is plus 18. So we can draw the game and they can... Um, Lose, they can win, but they need to win by four or more goals. So, Breveo back in. Other than that, the team is going to stay the same. Manatis out, and I have two 73 rated keepers here. Let's go with Ormero. I'm not going to make it himself. So I've got a 75 rated keeper. A 73 and two 73 rated keepers. So I think the Josh Lowe, any bids for Josh Lowe coming in could be could be a, a yeah good move. If we can get 15, 20 million for him. We'll take that. Now I'm uh, I'm not going to quick sim this game. So I want to see what happens with Southampton. But oh well. I was going to say it didn't really matter what happened because Derek put us 1-0 up. But Harder sent off. Seager with a goal. And Wells from the penalty spot. Interesting final half an hour. Viscarondo's made it 3-1. Southampton, I thought I saw they were 1-0 up. Cody's been sent off for uh, Huddersfield. Seager with a second. And it's a 4-1 win. We're in the playoffs. I was going to call it a day there in the episode, I was going to leave it as that. The tournament prize money of £34,000. Wow. Okay. What I want to quickly do is contracts for Vesterberg and Kabalos. They can both leave. So I'm happy that their contracts aren't going to be renewed. Um, in fact, the one player I do want to have a look at renewing. 
two actually. There's one, and Derek is another one. That's 15 grand a week. See, I'm just trying to spend the money that we've got. Uh, Riveo, let's see if he wants to sign a new contract. Manessis is out on loan. Fiscarondo, that'll do. I know we're rolling on to half an hour in the episode, but I uh, I want to get these games played, so it's going to be a little bit of a bumper one. Derek, about that new contract, I'm going to fuck off. Rivea has accepted that contract. Um, now to move at the end of his contract, so we potentially could do with going up next year, and he'd help us out. He may stay. They're all crap, so we're not going to worry about those. No, I don't want to exit. Right. Time for changes to be made. Murphy. Dow. Dale can stay there. Friedrich can come back in. Winter. Gamin back in. The Lutz, uh, this Carondo is fully fit again. That'll do. We've still got Riveo on the bench, he can come off the bench should we need him to. At home to Leicester. Mixed form for them in their final few um, games of the season. But first leg. A one or draw, Leicester get an away goal. Preveo came off the bench to rescue the point. Well, rescue the, the tie. Seager has accepted that contract. Tamahado is back available, but Murphy's there, so we may not use him. First conference I'm not going to worry about. Uh, I do need to sign some youth players up, I know that for a fact. Uh, Dale's worried about what well, was worried about not playing, but he now is playing. So, Braveo and Seeger up front. Dale on the right. Winter. Derek, right. We're not, it's not a bad team, you know. We may. If we can add a few players to it, if we do happen to go up, we that could that team could do okay, but interesting game now. Leicester have an away goal. We need an away goal. Obviously if Leicester scored two, we need two and we'll go through with go with the greater number of away goals. Leicester need a nil nil draw, that's fine for them to go through with that. Breveo booked, Breveo scores, so now Leicester need to go forward and get one. Can we hit them on the counter-attack? Final 15, there's James with a goal, one all. Is this going to extra time? It is, Breveo puts us 2-1 up in extra time. I don't know if away goals count extra in extra time or if it's not, but playoff finals, Breveo with two goals. And we're playing Leeds United in the playoff final. What a game that is going to be. Um, youth player wants out. Jakob Larsen is waiting to cancel his contract. Well, I'm going to have to sign some up. But what I want to do first is... I've got 10 spots available for youth players. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight, nine, ten. We have ten spots available and ten players. Ninety-two max Anton Saric. Um, offer contract. Future first team footballer. Jakob Larsson. Offer contract. You're going to be future first team footballer. Saric I thought was worth 1.6 million. I thought I saw there. Uh, did you mean? Mm, I don't know. Beak, we don't know where you're going to play yet. Callon, yes, I want to sign you up. I know you're 
another keeper, but I want to sign you up. Uh, Marco, yes, let's sign you up. Maritz, don't know where you're going to play yet, so I'm going to keep my own new keepers. Yes, I want to sign you up. I need 160,000. Remy Diop, between 64 and 76. Centre mid, offer contract. Value is at 600,000, so he's going to be quite highly up there. And Vessel de Witt. Yeah. Still don't know much about him. Which is a slight worry, considering he's defensive minded. We'll just sign those for now, and then we'll see what happens. I'm not too worried about the rest. Let's move forward, though. Player final against Leeds. Okay, so let's have a look at this team ahead of the um, playoff final. I don't really know how many truly fit players we can bring into the starting eleven. Uh, Dow, I really want to keep you there. Um, the back line's not looking too bad. That's my. Uh, you know what? Let's stick with the same team. I think it's the best thing to do. Right, simulate this match. Leeds beat Bolton 2-1 and drew 1-0. Same results that we had against Leicester. So, what can we get done? Betancourt puts Leeds 1-0 up in the 7th minute. Nothing else has happened. Can we get a goal back before half-time? No. Lutz are on for hard at the start of the second half. Ross makes it one all. Betancourt makes it 2-1. Breveo missed a penalty. Wow. And final five minutes. Game ends with a 2-1 win for Leeds. We made it through to the final. Let's see much we could do about that. Uh, yes, Larson, Keepers, uh, Kakluta, prize money. So, got some players that have signed their youth contract. Which is good news. Um, I'll probably call it a day there, guys, and I'll go through the whole setting up um, the new season in the next episode when we can have a look at budgets and see what we've got in terms of cash to spend and uh, yeah, work from there. But, guys, I will call it a day and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Cheers.